Busted. I'm Jody Miller. Let's get started. This past Tuesday, April 15th, was tax day, or as Democrats call it, Christmas. <laughs> As just mentioned, last Tuesday was tax day, so now that all the returns are in, let the Tea Party audits begin. <laughs> the three major networks failed to report on new claims that the IRS targeted Tea Party groups. Of course they did. ABC, NBC, and CBS don't want to get audited either. <laughs> The Obamas paid just over $98,000 in taxes this year, but that's only because they were able to write off the 47 million Americans on food stamps as dependents. <laughs> Mickey Rooney, who died at the age of 93 last week, will be laid to rest in Hollywood this week. Of course, liberals are saying that if we had Obamacare sooner, Rooney could have lived to at least 94. <laughs> Actor Kevin Spacey has come out against Hugo Chavez's hand-picked successor in Venezuela. Uh-oh. That means no more Oscars for you, Mr. Spacey. <laughs> Last week, the Morning Joe panel failed to name even one reason why Hillary Clinton was qualified to be president. President Obama immediately responded, like you need one? <laughs> And finally, former Obama donor Jane Pauley has been hired to work at CBS News. Well, now that Cheryl Atkinson is gone, technically anyone who works at CBS News qualifies as an Obama donor. <laughs> Thanks for watching News Lesson, everybody. I'm Jody Miller. Make sure to tell your friends about us, and we'll catch you next time.